Hello and welcome to Flory Models Friday Roundup Show. Here we are with you on the 29th of April 2022. Another month gone. I can't believe we're into May already. This year is absolutely flying. This week though, for me, the modelling gods were definitely not with me. I've had one of those weeks where this particular kit is a gorgeous kit. If you don't know what it is, this is the Great Wall Hobbies F15 E we're working on at the moment. And it has been beautiful right the way through. I found no fit issues. I've had no problems with the kit whatsoever. But actually, the modeling gods are deciding, do you know what? It's too far as a nice kit for you to work on, Flory. I'm going to make everything go wrong that I can. So from my point of view, I managed this week to put the intakes back to front. And then I then threw away the parts that I needed because I just cut them off because I thought I'd use the wrong ones. And then I put some other ones on to find out, no, it's still not right. So third time's a charm with the actual intakes on this to try and get those sorted out and put straight. So that was horrendous. And you can probably see this very nice clean area I've got on my cutting mat. Yeah, you guessed it. I knocked over an entire new pot as well of Tamiya Extra Thin. Normally I have it in my little holder over here and it keeps it all safe, but I was doing some jobs. I was just about to set up the camera to do some uh, video work on this one to show you. And yeah, knocked it over. And not only did it go over the F15, it went over all of the small parts that I had gathered here to show, because uh, I was about to put them all in place as we make our way through so yeah I've had two absolutely horrendous weeks with this one luckily though I did find out I did have a spare uh, pot of extra thin kicking around so otherwise I'd been out of glue as well which would have really capped off this week as being a pretty gnarly week Anyway, it all started on Monday, where we had part three of the uh, uh, the Great Wall Hobbies uh, 48 scale F15E Strike Eagle video build was up there. And again, this particular part, as I said, I'm trying to break them down into more ones. So they're all running over around about 40, 45 minutes of video, but it's about putting the engine together. So obviously we put the engine together, did a little bit of deburring work. We sprayed white uh, for the actual back end of it. And then we went in with various shades of metals and various things in there to do the nozzles and then put it all in there. And then we used, obviously the wash so that's the black stuff on the floor it's just black flory models wash right the way over it and postcard pens and then we just buffed it up to give us our nice sort of gnarly engine now we're not going to see any of this unfortunately which is a bit of a shame because these engines are really really nice and I think with a little bit more time on them and a little bit more hand plumbing and wiring into it you can actually end up with something very nice and it comes in the kit from our point of view though because we're doing it in flight yeah that means we're not going to see any of this lovely detail. We're not even going to see up into the nozzles either. So there was not a lot of time spent doing it or detailing it up. But I've given you a broad outlook of a quick way of getting your engines to look basically like that. Tuesday was the uh, Phil and Matt's not quite a podcast show. So it's our sort of uh, vlogcast, as we call it now. Um, and we were talking all things monogram. Uh, talking about the history of monogram, how far they've come, 70 years of great history, and really some of the amazing kits that they'd made. Uh, and developed over the years and what a shame it is that monogram aren't still around um, the show is basically about an hour and we're talking about that and a few other bits and pieces in there but that was recovering but anyway it did spark a bit of an interest with you guys as well because me and Matt were saying how it would be really really nice to go back to do some of the old monogram kits and uh, Mikey has come to our aid and so is Brett and they're sending us some over some absolutely classic monogram kits and to be honest we're going to build them so again it's going to be one of those ones where you know a lot of the time we deal with new kits and it's all very nice and shiny and everything else and every now and again I like to go back and do something a little bit older and what we thought was many a time we've covered about rescribing and re-riveting old raised panel line kits but how would you go about dealing with them today with all the modern new glue and fillers and paints and metalizers and all the various things we've got for doing weathering as well how good could you actually turn out a straightforward perhaps even out of the box type build so anyway what we've decided in our infinite wisdom god help us for this one i'm going to do the old classic monogram voodoo Matt's going to do the B25, uh, which are two of the most iconic kits I think that they actually do. They do some other fantastic ones, and to be honest, Mikey's sending us over some as well. So we're going to be doing inbox reviews of them coming up and things like that. And I can see us doing a group build or a SIG definitely next year for it. As you say, we've got this year sort of lined up already. But it was one of those ones where sometimes you just need that little spark of interest. And all of a sudden you're thinking, do you know what? It's fantastic. And to be honest with you, if you look at or hang around for the gallery show at the end uh, of your great work as well from the members there's some fantastic old monogram kits in there as well and it just goes to show how good you can turn out these old kits even today and some of these kits now 50 you know 40 50 years old 
you know, obviously there is some newer ones in amongst them, but uh, they were really, really were ahead of their time. And I've got really fond memories of doing the voodoo and say, I've built it now, I think three times. This will be the fourth time I've built it over the years. And uh, each time before I've had to rescribe and re-rivet and do all the things to it. This time we're gonna go completely out of the box and leave it. So it's gonna be a bit more of the technicals of how do you recreate raised details? You know, because obviously we spoke about stretch sprue, you can do tape lines and then obviously, you know, a bit of filler in between and things like that. But I think with modern materials, you should be able to put them back in there. And we've got things like uh, Archer raised rivet sets now as a, as a decal and things like that to use as well. So I'm thinking it should be quite an interesting thing to go about how you replace, not, you know, as in get rid of and go back with recessed, but how do you replace raised details once you've you know, sadly obliterated them, normally through sanding and filling and stuff like that. So anyway, we've got these kits coming over. We're gonna do them as video builds. We could do them as live builds as well and things like that over on Flory Model Shows. So if you wanna watch out for that one, it should be a lot of fun, especially I think with my side of it, the colors and the paint use, obviously with Matt's as well. He's gonna do the B25, you know, classic aircraft, old school and we're going to build them old school as well so it should be a lot of fun like that but i think really the weathering and that should really make them come to life so i'm very excited about it we've got some other kits coming in as well so again, I'll do some inbox reviews of some of the old classic kits coming up in the near future. But it was a great show. We're planning on doing a lot more of these ones. Me and Matt have been discussing future shows that we'll be doing for our, 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 our vlog casts uh, and things like that. So if you want to get involved with those, you know members where you can catch that one up on the site right now. Uh, Tuesday was the PM show. Uh, obviously we were talking all things that's going on with PM show and obviously we've got our huge 25% sale going on at the moment and uh, as I've been reporting all week about this one different items are going up there and they say at the back end of the show I'll give you a whiz round to see what's been added to that this morning as well so lots of new goodies went up this morning so uh, some really good deals going on there and obviously we're talking all things modeling everything that's going on at PM land and answering your questions as well so that's that one down in there obviously there was no show last Last night, because obviously we've we've stopped doing the weekly um, uh, Thursday night show. We do it every two weeks now, so it's bi-weekly. Uh, and so uh, yesterday, Matt has been very busy, and he put up his own personal vlog as well. So that one is up there. So it's the PM vlog is up there as well. And obviously, Matt started with part one, working on the Wimic, which is the Land Rover with the Milan system onto that one as well. So that is up with you right now. So if you want to go off and see both of those members, you can see those up on the site right now. And that gets us up to today where part four of the uh, Great War Hobbies F-15E build is up with you as well. So that one is up here and it goes through basically putting the fuselage sections all together as you can see down in there. And again, it's been one of those ones where you're like, do you know what? It couldn't have gone any worse if it had tried. And here she is. She's actually looking really nice. And I've gone round, to be honest, the last couple of hours and taken care of what was, you probably get it here, a very nasty fingerprint. So I had to get it out of this pool of nice clean desk now, because uh, I got it on there. We also had another huge fingerprint in here. I had another huge fingerprint in there because literally as I grabbed it to get it out of the way. And then obviously, See these pylons down in here as what was swimming in it all. So again, usual thing, if it's if you're ever in a situation and you do have a spillage, do not wipe them clear. Get them out of the actual uh, fluid totally. And I took them out, plonked them down on here onto paper towel so it absorbs. And then that way, hopefully any excess on there gets absorbed off and it will leave you, and I don't know if you can notice on here, but these are looking very shiny. And this is because they were covered in the said glues so uh yes it, it's just it's been one of those ones where it's like do you know what can go wrong these intakes you can see i had to fudge and basically reshape recarve and get those intakes onto this one as well so uh it's all still a little bit of a loose fit if you're wondering so speed brakes on here down in here we've got the rear deck as well but again it has been an amazing kit it's got beautiful detail to it the way it goes together with the neck system means it's pretty much seamless down in here between the join areas things like that just a little bit of light sanding just to take care of that but that's all in there now so anyway hopefully we are now ready for primer uh after the show this afternoon i'm gonna do a little bit more little bits for it so we get the pylons done all the rest of it but i'm hoping to get this one off the primer over the weekend and then that way it'd be pushing on but after the glue spillage and it was like oh my god that's just another thing you know what else could go wrong i'm not going to tempt fate but something's bound to because it's been one of those ones but no it is all coming together 
Really, really nicely, and I can highly recommend that kit. If you notice, if you can see it there, I've got a lovely square there where the bottle was. Anyway, we've had some other bits come in for it, so I've got the figures have turned up for it now. So we are using uh, PJ Productions uh, pilot figures for it. So we've got two of those. They look absolutely gorgeous. So we've got those have turned up for it. Also has got the acrylic rod. So what I've done is usual thing is measure the diameter. It's 15 mil, which is pretty common 48 scale for these nozzles, and it is a beautiful fit into those. So those will go in there. Then those will go into the back end of this, as you can see, if we get it in, there it is. And then hopefully that will be our in flight. So our plan with this one is, there we go. Uh, our plan with this one is, is to actually bend this through almost 180 and here is our plinth for it as well. So I've ordered, a, uh, this is a solid oak plinth, so it's really nice. The idea is, is that we have the acrylic rods coming out the back and then bending up and then we're gonna twist it. So usual thing, it'll probably be a roughly around about a 40, sort of 35, 45 degree angle uh, in the pitch coming upwards and normally around about sort of a, a 15 degree on the sort of side as well, just so you can see the model from all angles. But again, different for me, I've gone with just a normal solid uh, oak plinth. Normally I go mahogany or something dark wood, but I thought, you know what, we'll go with something a little bit different, but it's a gorgeous piece of wood and the acrylic rod, and you can see me about bending and fixing it to this and getting them onto there uh, a little bit later as we make our way on with this particular build. Other things that have been turned up because it's been asked for a lot is these two. So this is Super Chrome. Uh, again, I've heard lots of positives and I've heard lots of negatives. Um, PM's got a few in just for to do a test. If they're any good, then we'll stock it. If it's not, we won't bother, uh, as always. But we've got the Super Chrome and I've got the Thinners. So next week's Tuesday for the On Test Show, we'll be playing with these. Now, as you know, I'm a massive fan of using the Molotov uh, system uh, for chrome and I've used it on the truck the big rig and we've chromed lots and lots of things with it and never had a problem but again this one just looks to be a little bit more simpler uh, to use and all the rest of it but again I've had people say it looks fantastic but when it dries it dries very dull um, but then I've had people say Molotov does that and to be honest I was looking at the truck yesterday and I'll get it out when we do the side by side comparison uh, and it's still like a mirror so I don't know quite what's going on there so anyway we will do a full proper on test that's my Tuesday booked up for that one so you can catch that one uh, either on Tuesday or the following days as that one goes up so that's pretty good on there last up Matt has sent me this because you know I'm a bit of a helicopter fan and to be honest as much as I love my jets and my World War II stuff and everything else like that deep down I am a bit of a rotorhead um, so again what we've got is some of these into the PM store I'm a big fan of the old uh, sort of M, yeah, MD500 or as you say the little bird and things like that the loach so uh, this is the Israeli one that Matt sent down to me I've got the nice damaged box one as you can see but uh, we have got some more of these up on the PM store so if you want to grab yourself one of those they are up there but I will do a review for that next week so we'll have a review of those coming up and again we're gonna have those monogram old classics coming up as reviews as well so we've got lots and lots of stuff coming your way speaking of which don't forget the hold on let me just pop you onto there there we go the sig for the um uh flashpoint one is coming to an end we've got 97 entries on that one on the go and we got 51 finished on there so that's great we've got an over 50 percent success rate that's gonna end uh obviously um what time will i do it Let's have a quick look at my calendar so it's going to be sunday uh sunday morning about nine o'clock my time i will close that down all right so what happens is don't forget these get locked well, the reveal one will be locked until I've done the reveal video. Once the reveal video is done, which will be up with you next week, then obviously you can uh, go ahead and uh, comment on them again down below. All of the working progresses will be moved to the appropriate areas in the forum, and then obviously this thread will be removed. And then obviously we've got our Nordic SIG, which is starting up with this one, which I can just bring you up the details for you. Uh, so this is the next one coming along. Let me just grab our, hopefully, here we go. Nathan did our great thing for this year, our little system here. So this is our Nordic one, which is going to run from the 1st of May to the 31st of August. And basically it's anything from that part of the world. So again, you can go along from any part of that world as well, anything from the Nordic region. So obviously Norway, um, you know, and sort of Sweden, things like that. Uh, and you can do some of those. And that's basically, they've got great air forces. They've got great sort of naval stuff and uh, great armored vehicles as well, as well as civilian. So uh, there's lots of stuff down in there. So we were saying Ikea, although technically it would count, 
I don't think we need to see people making uh, chest of drawers and tables and things like that as part of the SIG. It does have to be plastic uh, or that way, as you might imagine. But anyway, definitely one of those things. Full terms and conditions are up on this one. I will get this one set up and it will be up onto the actual uh, forum on Saturday for the start of it on Sunday. So Sunday morning when I get up, I will make it live and it will all be ready to go as well. But I'll get that one sorted tomorrow uh, and you can see all the terms and conditions and the various bits and pieces on for that one. So that is the next one as it makes its way up. So yeah, be a lot of fun with that one. And remember, don't rush your models at the end as we've seen people do in the past and things like that. Literally, I'm gonna move that, it's gonna snap the tails off. Uh, but literally, I'll get them moved over and then once moved over, you can carry on with your build and you'll see your work as you'll see at the end of today's show in the gallery, because we've got some real crackers in there this week as well. PM show or PM store I should say has got its massive 25% sale off and look at this stuff so we got fantastic we got phantoms down here at 21 pounds which is amazing we got the new tooled SR71 at 65 pounds and dam busters and lanks and you imagine it we've got it down here as well and this is great kits I built this one I've built this one I've built lots of them in here to be honest uh, but as you see you've got some great stuff down in here from Ravel uh, all of their stuff we got some of the trucks and the cars from Ravel as well as you can see, some really, really nice stuff down in there, as well as obviously we've got the other ones. We've got Fujiami down in here, and these are all 25% off. As I said, we're having a bit of a reshuffle. We're clearing some room in the warehouse, so uh, we really need to make a bit of space for new stuff coming in. So if you want to grab yourself a bit of a bargain, say we've got the cars, we've got all the dragon stuff down in here and everything else, then you really want to grab it now, because once this is gone, it's gone. Yes, we can get it as a pre-order uh, or as a special order and get it in for you, but definitely we we won't be keeping these in stock anymore all right so if you want to grab yourself some bargains they're in here keep an eye on this this does change all the time all right so it's one of those things that just keep an eye every day just to see what's in there and come in and gone out uh, and you'll get a bit of a feel for it but that's on the 25 percent store so just go to pm models um uk.com and you can see it down in there we've also got the special area as well so this is all the specials down in here and we've got some other stuff and again there's that Huey's 500 which is absolutely fantastic or the MD 500 uh, and at 36 pounds so a right bargain down in there as well as all this other one so we've got Eddard down in here we've got the Jag I'm going to be building shortly and various other kits we've got Tamiya down in here the Tamiya F16 as well so it's the CN uh, you get the nice pod on that one and all the bits and pieces down in there so we've got some great stuff as you can see down in that one new arrivals as we said really on the, the sort of pm show on wednesday it's very very quiet at the moment but we have got the mustang and we've got the retirement schemes for the phantoms uh coming in now as well so uh, we've got those kits just down in there so if you want to grab anything from the pm store you can do just click down we've got the 25 percent mega area as you can see down in there and then obviously we've got the new arrivals and special offers and bits and pieces like that so yes fantastic one last thing the merchandise um two things one is uh for members it's all gone out everybody who's ordered we had a bit of a backlog because you guys stripped us out and we had to get the bigger sizes all in as well but we are all totally up to date now the, all the orders went out yesterday so they'll be filtering their way through you so if you were waiting on them they have all gone we are completely up to date as of today all right so that's good with the orders for people who are non-members and want to buy them they'll be available next month well it'll be the back end of May um, or maybe into June they will then come out because at the moment we're just making sure all the members have got all their merch and then obviously it'll be available for non-members as well and again we are adding some other bits of merch coming down the line we've got the new mouse mats coming out we've got a different mug coming out uh, and a few other bits and pieces as well so keep an eye out for it you'll see all about those as we make our way through on there but say for members have a look in the exclusive members offers areas because there's some other bits in there as well which I won't mention on camera so you can see about those as well Anyway, that is about it from me. I'm going to continue with this particular kit for the Great Wall Hobbies F15 and try and not destroy it um, because it's a lovely kit. It's fantastic. But for some reason, I'm just having a real problem with it at the moment and it's all my own fault it's literally every error that has happened on this kit is me induced by me and I made it the kit is absolutely beautiful but it does seem to be fighting me at the moment but hopefully by the time we get into primer by Monday we'll be moving along with that one uh, in the UK it's a bank holiday Monday uh, so obviously there won't be anything up for you on Monday but it will be up with you on Tuesday because I'm going to do the reviews for the Super Chrome and we do a full-on thing with that and obviously we'll get the next parts up for you from this one next week as well and I know Matt's working on his bits and pieces as well 
Anyway, that's it from me. Enjoy the bank holiday weekend if you're in the UK. Long weekend. I don't know if the weather's going to play ball. It's gorgeous out there at the moment. Let's hope it stays for a little bit longer at least. And then uh, after that, it can rain and do what it's like after that for a bit. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with your great work from the gallery. So until Tuesday, everybody, happy modelling. Take care. Yeah. Uh -huh.